In this video, I'm going to show you how you can tell what cookies a website has stored on you using the Chrome Developer Tools. Now, if you've seen any of my series, this is something I commonly do when working with logging in or logging out features because it's very handy to be able to see whether a cookie has been set and if it's there and if it's being sent to the server. So we're going to go through how you can do that. And also a quick note, I'm using Chrome because I like their developer tools the best, but you can do something similar like this using any browser uh, pretty much that has developer tools. So what I just did is open up the dev tools menu. You can do this by clicking right click and inspect and the default view is going to have an inspector for you. But the thing we want to look at is this application tab right here. And now this is already open because I usually have this open. But if you come over to the storage tab down here and you see cookies, you can click on the little arrow and then you can click on the website you're on and you can see the cookies that are being stored on you. So right now this is just a test site and I have a single cookie called QID store on me and we can see the values and different things that are being stored or different properties of the cookie. And we can see I'm currently logged in right here. So we can actually see the cookie and then we can interact with it if we want to. We can change some of the values if we want to um, or we can remove it, refresh if we need to. Uh, so for example, I'll commonly do this to log out users. You've probably seen me do this before if you watch any series and I haven't actually implemented log out yet. What I'll do is I'll just clear the cookie because usually there's two ways that websites keep track of you as you are browsing the site or come back to the site. It's either with a cookie or probably with local storage as well. Those two are usually the ones you'll see websites use. And so if you get rid of the cookie, the website no longer knows who you are. So right now you can see I'm currently logged in as myself. And if I remove this cookie and then I refresh the page, it's not going to know who I am and it's going to ask me to sign in. And again, as I sign in, you can see the cookie being added here um, uh, as soon as the request gets finished. The other important tab when dealing with cookies is to be able to see when they are basically being sent. So this is very helpful to see. And this is going to be in the network tab. So for example, I just sent a request. And if I come over to the network tab, I can see all the requests that are being sent. Now, the particular one I care about is this GraphQL request right here. And uh, usually it'll probably be open to headers, but if you click on this cookies tab, you can see what cookies are being sent with this request. Also, commonly it's very helpful to see the headers of the requests that are being sent. Uh, so here's the response headers, but more importantly is usually the request headers, but the response can be very helpful as well. So being able to just see what's being sent back and forth in the headers is pretty important. So for example, right here, I can see in the request headers that in my GraphQL request right here, I'm sending a cookie called QID and I can see its entire value right there. And the cool thing about this is this is not just something you can do on local sites. So for example, I can do the same thing I just did here on a production site. For example, I have Reddit open right here and I have the uh, dev, dev tools open as well. And I can go to the application tab and I can see all the cookies that Reddit has stored on me right here. And you can see they do quite a bit. And you can see it looks like some of them are also for tracking as well. Um, and I'm currently logged in with my account. If I wanted to, I could clear this and it would actually log me out of my account. Because again, they're storing or figuring out who users logged in as. With that, they may also be storing some local storage data. Looks like they are. Um, and so you may have to clear both of those. And then again, if I go to a network tab, I can clear it. And let's say I click on this link right here. Uh, I can see the cookies that are being sent as I go to this URL. So if I scroll up to the top, here's the link that I clicked on. I can see here all the cookies that it's sending on the request. Um, and so this can be very helpful to debug. And this is kind of just a fun thing I do sometimes when I'm on websites is kind of just see how they work and go into what headers they're sending and uh, what the requests look like. So here I can see the request and response that's being sent to uh, Reddit, which is kind of interesting. And I can see the cookies. Looks like they're setting a few cookies on me. Um, and then as I do the request, there's a whole bunch of cookies being uh, sent with it. Um, and then again, if I come over here to application, I could clear all these cookies if I wanted to. And now if I refresh, I wonder if I'm going to be stayed logged in. And you'll notice, nope, it looks like one of those cookies was being used to store who I was logged in as. So as soon as I cleared it and refreshed the page, it is gone. Anyway, dev tools are a pretty cool thing when you're dealing with cookies to be able to go in and play with them and look at the values as you're doing it. And dev tools are definitely something I'd recommend looking into 
and uh, playing around with because they can be super helpful just developing web applications in general.